Hi there, it's Michael Ackerman coming to you from Seattle, Washington, where I'm a realtor with Coldwell Banker Bain. Today's video blog is for all you sellers out there that are preparing your homes for the market and strategizing to put your homes on the market. And a part of that strategy should be deciding with your agent or broker when you're going to look at offers. Are you going to put your home on the market and just look at offers as they come in the first day, the first hour, three days later, a week later? This is a really good strategic conversation to have with your agent or broker. And it completely depends on what kind of market you're in and completely depends on what kind of product you're selling. And I'll explain. If you're, in, if you have a, if you're in a normal market somewhere in the United States or the world and you're in a normal market, you may just want to put your home on the market and wait for offers to come in. If you're in a hyper accelerated seller's market like we are in Seattle, which means there are many, many more buyers out looking for homes than there are sellers putting their homes in the market, so the demand is much higher than the supply, you might want to strategically wait to look at offers for a period of time. Now, the housing market, the single family home and townhome market is really strong in Seattle. The condo market is also strong, but not quite as heated as the housing market. So a lot of the listings that I've had this year in Seattle in the condo market, we have not waited, the sellers have not waited a week to look at offers. They've just put their condo on the market and waited for the market to unfold and see when offers came in. Sometimes they sell in the first week, sometimes they take a couple weeks. The housing market, however, most of my sellers this year have decided to wait a week to look at offers. So for example, a seller may put his or her home on the market on a Tuesday and wait until the next Tuesday, seven days, to review offers. If they do choose to do that, we have agent remarks in the multiple, so the agents are all notified of when the sellers are gonna be available to look at offers so they can let their buyers know that. There are a couple advantages to waiting. One of the advantages, big advantages is, is you have probably put a lot of love and time and improvements into your home and you want to give your home ample market time because you're probably proud of it. And so by waiting a week, it does give the home an ample amount of market time. And this is a couple things and these are all positives. Buyers do not have to get in the first minute to see it and write an offer. They can see it the first or second or third day, take a day or two to think about it and decide whether it's really the right fit for them or not. This might be a really good strategy for you because it will allow buyers the time to think about it and the chances of them getting buyer's remorse and backing out after their offer is accepted is a lot less because they feel like they've had time and they haven't been rushed into the decision. It also allows these buyers to do their due diligence on the home. They can look over the title report. They can do a pre-inspection where they pre-inspect the home, go through with an inspector on every aspect of the home, including maybe the sewer line. So when they write their offer, they can make theirs not contingent on doing an inspection since they've already done it and they're not going to come back and ask you for any repairs, which makes their offer a lot more advantageous and a lot more attractive to you, the seller. It also allows the, the market to do what it's going to do. If you put your home on the market and you get an offer, if you weren't waiting and you got an offer the first night for full price, you're going to think that you price your home too low. You are going to think that. It's human nature and it, 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 it's, uh, it's an, you know, an obvious reaction. If you wait a week, the market's going to tell you how you presented and priced your home. If you have 20 showings after a week and you get no offers, you probably priced it a little too high, a little too aggressively. If you have 20 showings and you get one offer, you probably priced it right on the money. If you have 20 offer, if you have 20 showings and 20 offers, you probably underpriced it because everybody felt the public's perception was this is a really good deal and they're willing to battle it out for the home. And that's when you can get a bidding war and sometimes your home will sell above the list price. Again, this all depends on you know the type of market you're in. The only negative I can see for waiting is if a buyer sees your home on the first day and doesn't really want to wait a week doesn't want to get involved in a multiple offer situation or a bidding war and they want to just write an offer in your home the first day, they may not wait around for the week. But I'll say this, and I always say this to my sellers, if the buyer isn't willing to wait a week to work within the framework that you, the seller is comfortable in, they're probably not the right buyer for the home. Um, the, and that's the only negative I can really think of. So I think there are a lot of positives. Again, this completely depends on what kind of market you're in. This completely depends on what kind of home you're selling. And this completely depends on the advice that you get from your agent or broker that's working in your area that knows your market. I know the Seattle market. I don't know the market in Toledo, Ohio. I don't know the market in Miami, Florida. 
you really do, do need a, an agent that knows a local market really well to give you his or her uh, advice on the best way to move forward. So again, have that conversation where, when and how you want to look at offers on your home with your agent or broker. Thanks for watching this blog. If you have any other questions about real estate in general, feel free to email me anytime at Michael Ackerman at cbbain.com. And do remember, it's all about the connection.